Hi Descendants, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to give you a short recap of today's biggest patch, brand new Descendant called Luna. She is going to be supporting your team that is landing on live servers on the 31st of July. This is the biggest patch yet. The reason why is because they're introducing not a one, but actually two new Descendants, a long awaited ultimate version for Vobby. Here, ultimate Bobby modification modules, spiral tidal wave, the bouncy bubble uh, bullet has been replaced by a projectile that flies in a straight line. Spiral tidal wave is stackable and can be fired three times in a row and attracts impurities during the gluttony intercept battle. Hydro pressure bomb, instead of the plop plop, she leaps forward and deals damage to enemies around the landing area. The more enemies in the laundry states, the more powerful the damage sounds really interesting i'm super excited to test this out and grind for this module as well um and yeah i'm really looking forward to see what this is update is going to look like once live servers hit in an hour and a half added ultimate vobby amorphous materials ultimate vobby's blueprint and cold materials will replace one of the items available from the original amorphous which is great then we have the new descendant luna and let's take a look at her skill. Her passive skill, Improvisation, using any skill increases Inspiration Gosh, uh, which allows Luna to use Enhanced Skill. So probably very similar to <clears throat> Ajax, who has this increased, um, you know, um, Gosh of, her, of uh, his skills. Very similar. Probably this is going to be for her as well. Um, active skill number one stage presence using this skill changes luna's weapon to her unique weapon performing the notes in time uh, to the music by using skills or hitting monster stacks and increases her skill power modifier active skill number two passionate stage using the skills makes luna play upbeat music increasing the skill power modifier of luna and her allies so your second skill is gonna be increasing skill power modifier to your allies which is great Gain the enhanced effect in, uh, gaining the enhanced effect increases the skill power modifier even more and also increases the skill critical hit rate and damage of allies. Hello? This is going to be huge. Hopefully those modifiers are some juicy, juicy modifiers. Active skill number three, relaxing act. Using this skill makes Luna play relaxing music. Hitting the enemy with a note grants an effect that instantly recovers the MP of Luna and her allies. Gaining the enhanced effect increases MP recovery and reduces skill cost. Again, a big W. Active skill number four, her old delightful stage. Using the skill makes luna play delightful music hitting the enemy with the note increases inspiration gosh and decreases the skill cooldown of our allies hello decreasing cooldowns this is huge ladies and gentlemen i believe this is going to be a super boost now now with going with my lepic build right now where i melt bosses i think i will really appreciate if, if in my team there will be a luna boosting everything that i will be doing Gaining the enhanced effect increases the inspiration gosh even more and immediately resets the cooldown of Eli allies. What? Immediately. All right. Modification modules. Nimble footsteps. Uh, footsteps. Um, this modification module enhances Luna movement speed and amplifies the effect range of her performance, making it easier to support our allies. Noise Surge transforms all of Luna's skills to combat skills. Performing the notes in written unleashes a powerful AoE attack. When the inspiration gosh is full, summons a moving stage where she dances to recover MP and shield. I tweeted about this, by the way, under their post. And I said that usually when there is an, in any game where you can turn a support character into a DPS character, usually that stuff is broken. Added Luna amorphous materials, amorphous materials. All right. And now let's check out the new big boss, which is called Gluttony. Uh, this bad boy looks like he is the big bad brother of Devourer. 
and it looks like he will be doing chill damage gluttony external component set hungry sonic set two set piece set effect grants toxin resistance interesting and four piece set grants an effect that recovers mp and hitting the target with a skills unique weapon as a well as a fact that increases skill duration and MP heal modifier proportionally to max MP. New ultimate equipment, the Peacemaker. Added the new ultimate weapon, Peacemaker, using the uh, dimension skill grants the single reload for peace effect. At maximum stacks, the single road, a reload of peace effect enables you to fire the loaded ammo in a single quick burst when taking an aim shot. Okay. New module arc concentration decreases movement speed, firearm attack, and all attribute attack except the non uh, attribute attack every time a skill is used, but each stack of the arc concentration increases death and MP. To prevent module swapping from becoming a strategy in boss fights and infiltration operation, equipping and removing modules, changing presets, and changing loadouts are now prohibited added a future to collect all lost and found items at once in the mailbox that is awesome added camera shake on and off which is also awesome ps and xbox added the ability to select preset search keywords to make it easier to search for modules and research which is also awesome increases the poison conjugation range of freyna's room zero trauma from four meters to seven meters that means that their, her aoe is going to be better from this mod uh, increases the maximum scaling range of Fabi skills from 200 to 150%, which is also great. Increases the maximum scaling range of Blair skill from 200 to 250%. Uh, change the blizzard generating uh, generated by VS's Glacial Cloud module to be triggered instantly without a delay, which is a VS above. Uh, changed uh Vobby's Albion Academy Cadet hat skin to be diable. Okay. Changed incoming final damage to incoming damage modifier in the description of the safe recovery module. Equipment. Added a future in-game options that enables some single shot and burst weapons to fire automatically when the fire button is pressed and held down. What? Increased Enduring Legacy's critical hit damage from 1.7 to 2.3. Okay, that looks like a pretty decent upgrade. Increased the Secret Guardian's critical hit rate from 35% to 50% and critical hit damage from 1.85 to 2.25. Increased Nazisra's Devotion critical hit rate from 36% to 45% and critical hit damage from 2 to 2 times 2.25 decreased the trigger rate of bombardments Greg's reversed fate but now it also triggers when the weapon is fired and at unshielded enemies Ooh, okay because the shielded thing was just broken you you basically couldn't use that on a boss you couldn't use it now you can use that on anything which is a great change i believe Equipment can now be dismantled at once with no quantity limits. All right, so some decent equipment changes. Optimization improvements for PC, PS5, um, Xbox, Applied AMD, FSR 3.1 point uh, optimization, optimized memory usage for PS4 and Xbox One users, Optimize resolution to increase the maximum resolution by at least 5%. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this patch. Are you more excited for Ultimate Vobby or for Luna?